Today, I'm going to show you how to create an animation using Google Slides. Okay, so once you're on Google Slides, first thing you need to do is to double check that your um, background of your first slide doesn't have any um, layout options on there like text boxes. So make sure you get rid of those by going to layout and choosing the blank layout from the options. I've already done that. Then you're going to put together your plan for what you wanted to make as an animation. It's always important to make a plan first. So I plan to make an animation set in space. And the very first scene of my animation is going to have a spaceship zooping across a space scene. Okay, so I'm going to need to have a background of space. So the first thing you'll need to do is down here in the explore section, if you click on explore, you will be able to search the web for images that you can use in your animation. So I'm going to search the web for space. And I'm going to click on images. And I'm going to scroll down and find um, an image of space. Ooh, that one looks good. Okay, so I'm going to insert that one. Okay, I'm going to position that so that it covers the whole of the slide because I want it to be the background of my scene and then the next thing I need on there so I'm going to go back to my explore and I'm going to find a spaceship now if I type in spaceship in the explore option press enter it will bring me up spaceships that already have backgrounds on them but if I type in spaceship png and press enter it will find for me at least some of them anyway will be spaceships that have a transparent background so I'm going to just scroll through and find a spaceship oh I like that one actually that's quite cute so I'll put that on and you see that the background is transparent so that's the type of image that you're looking for I'll give it a few seconds and there I have it now it's a bit big that so I'm going to just make it a bit smaller and then I'm going to position it where I want it to start in my animation so I actually wanted to start a little bit off screen, so I'm going to put, position it there. Right, that is the beginning of my scene one. What I need to now do is duplicate, which means copy, by Control and C, that slide, and do Control and V to paste it, so that I start building up my frames. And in my next frame, I'm going to move on my um, spaceship. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste that again, Control and V, and every single time I paste it, I'm going to move my spaceship that little bit more. Okay. So I'm happy that I've got my spaceship going right across the scene. I'm going to do a new scene now, scene two, where the spaceship lands on a planet. And in this particular part of the tutorial, you're going to learn how to use the shape tool um, as well as the text tool to sort of add interest to your animation. So I'm going to insert, not insert, click on this little pot there and plus symbol here to get a brand new blank slide. Now I'm going to go back to my explore and I'm going to find another space scene, this time one that doesn't have the world in it, although that was quite cute that last one. Found one. Okay, I'm just going to have to resize this. If it's too big, drag it down. I'm going to crop it so it fits. Press enter, position it. Right, this is the start of my next scene. So, in this scene, ooh, make that a little bit bigger. In this scene, I'm going to have my spaceship land on a planet. So, I need to make that planet first. So, I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to shape, shapes, and I'm going to choose a circle. And I'm going to make my circle quite big. Position it there. But then I'm going to add a gradient to this circle. So I can choose different colors from here, but I'm going to choose gradient. And I'm going to choose maybe that one. Now you can see it does have a little bit of 
intrigue there with a, with a light colour in the middle. But that is my planet. Now, in one of my latter scenes, I had a spaceship. So I'm going to copy that onto this slide and I'm going to paste it on. And I'm going to position it where I want it to start. Remember, this is the very start of our scene. So it's important to spend a bit of time on the very beginning part of a scene because this is where the magic happens okay so i'm going to position it and i'm going to position it up here because it's going to come down from above and land on the planet okay okay so that's the spaceship now landed on the planet and i'm going to end my animation with some text so i'm going to copy and paste this scene and I'm going to add some text to this part of the scene. So I'm going to click on the text tool. It takes a few minutes. There we go. Drag it on. And I think I might say, Welcome. I don't know who's saying that. Maybe I've had time I could put some aliens on my scene. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to make the text a bit bigger. I'm going to change the font style of the text. I'm going to make it a contrasting colour. Oh, I definitely want it bigger than that. Maybe 150 even. Oh yes, that's much better. Right, so I'm going to position that. Oops, I need that link. I have to get that back. Nudge that background a little bit. I'm going to position the text above my spaceship now. If you want text to be easily readable on your animation, you're going to have to make it stay on frames, or on many, many frames rather. You can't just flash it up on one frame. So at this stage, all I'm going to do is click on my slide down the side and I'm going to paste it quite a few times. Okay, so I now have, if you have a look, I've got lots of, lots of slides or frames with the word welcome on it. Now this is pretty much it. Uh, at this stage. Okay, all that's left to do now is for me to publish the animation so that it actually animates. So I'm going to go to File, Publish to the Web, and choose every second, tick these two boxes, and then you get a link. So if you copy that link, go to a new window and paste it in and press Enter, your animation will load and play. Now, in the settings that we just did to publish to the web, we chose every one second. That was the lowest amount of time that you could choose from um, those settings. But as you can see, the animation is really slow and this could be quite a boring animation if we left it at this speed. But if you have a look up here, right up here in the link, you will see the word delay, delay, and it'll say MS, okay, millisecond equals 1000. If I reduce that right down, so I'm going to pause the animation whilst I do it. If I go to there, double click, try and get to that bit there of, of the address, highlight it and change it to 87 and press enter. Watch what it does to the animation now. There we go. That is much better. I look forward to seeing what you can create. Have a go!